Okay. So, hello everyone. This is Ananya Bisht and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur pursuing B.Tech in Civil Engineering. And today we have the Shruti and she is from IIT Kharagpur and she is pursuing a dual degree in Agricultural and Food Engineering. So, over to you Shruti. Could you introduce yourself a bit and tell us about yourself? Uh, sure. So uh, my name is Shruti Mahalakshmi. I am a fourth year undergraduate student of the Department of Agriculture and Food Engineering and enrolled in its dual degree course. I am from IIT Kharagpur. As you've already told, yeah, that's mostly about me. But if you would want to know a little bit more, like my hobbies include debating and cooking. So yeah, mostly that. Cool. That's great. So like my first question to you is like, what made you choose this branch during your JOSA counseling? And like, what is agriculture and food engineering all about? Like in a layman's language, like how would you introduce your branch to a student? Right. Uh, so basically, uh, let's answer it in two parts. The first part right. is like, what made me choose uh, this branch in JOSA counseling? So it was very perfect particular about doing something in the food industry so the major component of right. it that interested me is the food engineering part and obviously along with it comes the uh, agricultural aspect of it so right. that was what I thought and that's the perception that I had and since I was very passionate towards it I didn't have another choice and IIT Kharagpur was the only IIT offering right. this but offering this branch like right. yeah so I went for that that was blindly the reason uh, but apart from that like what is agriculture and food engineering all about? In my fourth year, if you would ask me in layman terms, I would just tell it's about agriculture and food food processing or like food technology, but like more on the technology part, which might include right. automations, which will include the technicalities, like the machinery, like the techniques that are used, the science behind hmm. it. Yeah, it's basically just that. Okay. So like hmm. what are the major job responsibilities of an agricultural engineer? Right. So agriculture engineering, as simple as it might sound, there are multiple specializations that are available okay. in IIT Kharagpur in itself. It might include land and water resources engineering, mm -hmm. or it might include um, machinery and power, or it might have aquaculture engineering, etc. Cetera, et cetera. We have like six six like uh, fields like this, which you can specialize in. Each of it has its own job responsibilities. And like as the name suggests, I'll just explain like a couple of it and then the rest right. of it you all can like mm -hmm. uh, find out find it out on the IIT Kharagpur website itself. Right, so right. aquaculture engineering, as you can understand, it's basically about aquaculture, fisheries, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. What are the different right. like automations in it, the different techniques that are used and the science behind it, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's about that. And farm machinery and power is again like what are the different machinery that is used in like um, farms and things like that. And like how do you design like a, a particular farm machinery? For example, how do you like design a tractor? What are the elements of it? Things like right, that. Go right. Yeah. So like uh, like what do you think so far? Like is this branch easy? And like what are the major courses or electives that you studied uh, that you've studied so far? Right. So is the branch easy is a very interesting question because okay. it completely depends upon you <laughs> and the interest that you have. Right. Uh, like yeah. what's your but in IIT, hmm, I wouldn't say it's easy. I wouldn't say it's difficult, right. but well, it, it, it's nice. Like I have been really enjoying it so far because right. I really mm -hmm. like what I've chosen. But apart from that, what it usually looks like is the first year in IIT Kharagpur is common for everybody. We right. have common exactly. subjects. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, be it computer science or be it metallurgy or be it mechanical or be it agriculture. It's like right, the same right. course. Hmm. But moving on to your second year, uh, I think second year is very like in common with mechanical engineering right. or uh, mechanical engineering at least. So you have subjects like thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, etc. While you also have your core agriculture subjects like crop production technology and like um, yeah things of that nature. And as you progress into your third year, you still have more topics that like are agriculture related, like farm machinery and power, food process engineering, food technology, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are the type of courses that you will be studying. Okay, so that's that's really great, like to have an insight of this branch. Okay, so yeah. like moving on, like could you share a bit about the your internship experiences and the internship opportunities that are usually available, like uh, for the ones pursuing this branch? Cool. Um. So basically, I have done like uh, four internships in the past, and right. I will tell you about like what each of them pertain okay. to. So basically, mm -hmm. um. IIT Kharagpur curriculum allows you to pursue like a minor and a micro specialization in any sure. uh, hmm. branch of choice. So I am doing a minor in economics 
and okay. i'm also doing micro specialization in entrepreneurship and innovation so my first internship was basically a research internship it was in indian school of business hyderabad right. so hmm. it was basically about non timber forest products and like their um industrial uses and like how do you connect the value chain with you know these uh, uh, people of tribal communities and the forests that they own to like corporations so right. that was a full on research project and that was what it was about so this was a little related to my branch and like right. you know really mm-hmm. academia but as i moved forward i realized that i like the strategy part of it so i wanted to explore more like um, you know in product uh, product mm-hmm. management etc so basically i worked in a startup after that i interned at a startup called beepart uh, in bangalore and uh, that was not related to my department at all right. and it was uh, basically like a, a second hand two wheeler uh, uh, selling based startup and it, like it was a great experience because i had an offline intern and after covid when things were like mm-hmm. running to normal there and that was pretty brilliant and i think probably my minor uh, in economics and my micro specialization in entrepreneurship and uh, innovation might have helped it but i still think your skills that in general something that you develop across kharagpur and like or like in right. any iit for that matter mm-hmm. and th- that will help you like diversify the profiles i don't think your uh, background will limit you to like pursue any right at the like, end of the th- uh, day it's like it's mostly the skills that matters the most i think exactly you'll pick that up so that is what i did it was a product management internship i had a great time over there i just have to like right. develop one particular products or like the problems that they were facing and after that i went ahead to explore consulting uh, which was what i liked after that so i interned in kpmg and i also interned in deloitte more uh, hmm. both of it were related to like energy and power etc okay. uh, again um, i like consulting and again like i'll be interning in bain in the upcoming hmm. summer So, so that's about my internships right so like uh, moving uh, on and talking about a branch specifically like so what do you think like does it has a lot of job opportunities and like how are the placements at your college of this branch like if you talk about the code field mm-hmm. right uh, so placements in iit kharagpur are always pretty good right. so again after a point i do not think the branch in particular matters uh, right. because mm-hmm. people come in and they might find their own interest in say something right. like some people hmm. like code some people like management roles some people like supply right. chain and like companies like itc hul hmm. png all of them come and like recently they've taken interns uh, from like agriculture department itself and there are things like that happen people pivot into consultancy or like right. anything like so i don't think it's limited to just like core or agriculture engineering hmm. in, in but like even apart from that uh, in the past we had nestle and everything right. recruiting hmm. from for this branch so the opportunities in itself are like good and like it's it's as similar it's similar to like the other departments that other are departments, existing right. hmm. uh, obviously not like uh, just if you're into software the opportunities like just would be little skewed to other departments apart from the right. uh, hmm. you know circuital branches as you call it like cs ec etc etc hmm. but apart from that the other opportunities are like very similar in comparison with other branches but like specifically related to agriculture engineering um i think there are a few companies that cover like each specific each specialization right and like if you talk more about it and like so can, like can you just tell us uh, like the major types of roles or like opportunities mm-hmm. that are offered sure uh, so again if you're talking about core um uh hmm. like let's talk about like core only if you would hmm. want me to okay. explain about non core as well i can but that might be right. a little redundant given hmm. that everybody might be okay. saying the same thing hmm. so when we talk about agriculture and food engineering as i said the specializations that exist like the companies that are like willing to recruit from that specialization right. would hmm. come in and it would more, mostly be a technical role so even if you're thinking about nestle so in right. the food engineering branch like if the people are recruited in there they mostly go to the r and d sector where it's a more technical role for them but apart from that supply chain is also like some way related to like agricultural supply chain etc etc and all the, all of that so that is more of a supply chain role uh, that these people might get so again it's mostly a technical role that might be related to your field of study if you're going right. to work yep okay and like about non core also like if you like explain a sure bit. so non Yeah, so non-core in general has like a few um like few of these uh segments. One could be software, the other could be analytics, right. the other could be like uh product, etc. 
and the yeah, other uh, that could be like consultancy or finance consultancy, or something right. hmm. yeah so i mean i don't think anybody differentiates between like agriculture engineering or like other branches hmm. uh, for any software but apart from that like um, you know it as the name suggests the responsibilities would be that and the companies that are recruiting right. will mostly be open but it's on a cgpa basis not mostly on a branch basis right right and like um, so we are like talking about like how do you get the internships like uh, what do you think like is the importance of maintaining a good cpi and like having different pors like what to what extent do you think like these things matters according to your job profile like you may tell like according to a consulting job profile uh, to what extent do you think the cpi or por matters Cool. Uh, again, CPA is I think it's CGPA or in Kharagpur. Uh, right, so basically, yeah, it's it, I, I would so a lot of people would say it's probably like you know not that important, but you should hmm. look at it in terms of uh, your CGPA closing opportunities for you. Like right, if it closes exactly. doors, then hmm. that's bad. So if your CG is below an eight, it might close a lot of doors for you, right. and you might not be able to sit for some companies. And if your CG is below a nine, then maybe some software companies you might not be able to sit. Right, exactly. So, yeah i personally believe that like at least in consultancy cg is like a very important factor so if hmm. you have a really good cg it just increases your chances of a shortlist so right. i would really think like the most important thing when it comes to all of this is like your cgpa followed by pors and other experience right. internship experience por i think in consultancy at least it's very very important like people hmm. do look at your leadership abilities and like the sort of uh, opportunities that you've taken up that came to you in college right. and where you've developed leadership skills so pr is like extremely important for like consultancy or like product roles yeah okay so like i think yeah that was it about internships and placement like uh, moving on and talking more about your experience at iit so far like so could you share like how has been your journey so far in iit kharagpur and like how tough it is to like maintain balance between academic and like non academic things and all Sure. Um. So basically, I was a person that traveled like halfway through the country to like come to Kharagpur. Right. I'm basically right. from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, and uh, coming here like it was like a little different for me to adapt into like a different right. culture, yeah. different food, different like you know language, etc. But ultimately, I think people were like really welcoming, really nice, and um, I enjoyed throughout. college and i made a lot of friends who just made it easier for me and even apart from that they have like a really great culture of like having helpful seniors and like you know being right. able to reach out to any and everybody just helps you out without like expecting anything back i think that's the best part due right. to which i think I like that's the right uh, i think that's the special part about the it is like yeah. especially the alumni network and seniors are like always ready to help you in every way they can Yeah, exactly. So especially even my uh, internship in Beepcard, like the thing that helped me get that opportunity right. is via like a friend right. who just like recommended it. Hmm. I should try out. And then the uh, person, like the CEO, was like again from IIT Bombay. He's an alum of IIT Bombay. Right. So hmm. that helped as right. well. Right. Right. Yeah. So there are such things that like you know nobody like, really tells you about when you come into an IIT. But, exactly. Like, right. People, like, yeah so that's that and apart from that i think like um, balancing between academics and extracurricular mm. i think it's pretty pretty simple i mean you just need to like devote your time properly for that from morning to evening to classes and do academics in the evening socialize right. and chill i mean that right. pretty much works in kp right okay so like i think um uh... Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think like one of the uh, like most popular questions asked among the students is like, should we go for a branch or like college? So, like, what's your take on it? Like, what should a student prefers while choosing um, the college for their engineering degree? Okay, so the binary over here is like, how strongly do you feel for that branch? Like, do you right. specifically want that branch? Is something you right. need to ask yourself. So if they aren't very fond of that branch, then it doesn't make any sense to like go for a branch like anywhere, right. regardless mm -hmm. of the college. If they otherwise, I think the college really matters. In my opinion, the college really matters if you're not very particular about a branch. Right, right. Okay, so like I think like we can wrap up now. So like any final message uh, from your side to all the students who might be watching this video. Uh, I mean, there's nothing special, but the only thing is like, uh, everybody should believe that things will turn for their, like, turn for good. 
I mean, right. nothing is permanent, right? And like, even if you're going through something hard, like that's that's not gonna be permanent. Everything will turn around, and it will be for the best of you. That's the right. only thing that everybody needs. Okay, thank you. That was a beautiful message, and like, thank you so much for like taking out your time and uh, doing this interview with us. So.